Suppose the question says, find the directional derivative of function uh, x divided by y at the point six and negative two in the direction of vector v, which is negative one and three. Well, remember that. Recall the directional derivative of a function in the direction of a unit vector u can be written as the gradient of f evaluated at a and b dot the unit vector u. So the very first question is, in this case, our vector is a unit vector or the norm of vector u is one. So let us check. Since the norm of vector v is equal to this square root of negative one to the second power plus three to the second power, which is one plus nine or square root of 10. It's not a unit vector. We need to make this vector to be a unit vector. Our job is to make V to become a unit vector. But how? Remember that. If you take vector v and divide it by its magnitude, its norm, then you're building a unit vector. So this guy becomes the very first component, negative 1 and 3, divided by square root of 10. So your unit vector is negative 1 divided by square root of 10, and 3 divided by square root of 10. Very good. So far, so good. Let us move on to find the gradient of the function at six and negative two. Okay, so the gradient of function f is defined as partial derivative of f with respect to x and partial derivative of f with respect to y. The gradient of f becomes, well, what is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x? In this case, y is just a constant. So you get one divided by y and then the partial derivative with respect to y becomes negative x divided by y squared. Very well. So the gradient of function f at the given point 6 and negative 2 is nothing but the vector 1 divided by negative 2 and negative 6 divided by negative 2 squared or the gradient of vector of function f at 6 and 2 is vector negative a half and 6 divided by 4 or negative 3 divided by 2. Very good. So let us just follow our formula. The direction of derivative of function f at 6 and negative 2 in the direction of vector u is equal to, well, what's the gradient of function f at a and b? We just calculated that. It's vector negative a half and negative three halves. Dot product with what? With unit vector u, either roller layer or you can use the bar on top of it. Negative one over square root of 10 and three over square root of 10. Let's do the dot product. Remember that if you have the dot product between two vectors, you get AC plus BED dot product or inner product. They are equivalent to each other. So let's calculate this negative a half times negative one over square root of 10 plus negative three halves times three divided by square root of 10. Let's just try to simplify this. You get one divided by two square root of 10 minus 9 over 2 square root of 10, you get negative 8 divided by 2 square root of 10, or minus 4 over square root of 10. If you would like to rationalize this fraction, you can just multiply that by square root of 10 and simplify this more you get negative 4 times square root of 10 divided by 10, right? So here you have negative 2 square root of 10 divided by 5. 
in rationalized form. Or in just a final answer fraction, of course. 